Assalamu alaikum. Distinguished delegates to Congress 2022, His Excellency, the former Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Secretary General and Party Leader of the United Democratic Party, has taken his seat and Congress, UDP Congress 2022, is now called to order. The first order of business is prayers. I believe uh, the imams that have been invited, the imam of uh, Janjambure is in our midst. Imam Bebunyato Kumandila Kuriena Duake Kafoye, Mitimo Bina Datila Sai. Imam of Janjambure. In the absence of the Imam of Janjambure, can I call on Honorable Keba K. Baro, former Majority Leader of the United Democratic Party uh, and the National Assembly of the Gambia to lead us in Muslim prayer? Keba K. Baro is also not here. Can I call on the deputy campaign manager for the UDP, Mr. Ibrahim Adiba, to lead us in prayer? Mr. Ibrahim Adiba. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir wajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إحدنا السرات المستقيم سرات الذين نمت عليهم وغير المكدوب عليهم ولا الضالين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا هشنة وفي الآخرة هشنة وكنا أزاب النار ربنا لا تزد قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين شبكون بالإيمان ولا تجعلوا في قلوبنا غلا 
للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم إنا أسألك إيمانا صادقا ويقينا ليس بعده كفر ورحما أنال بها شرف كرامتك في الدنيا والآخر يا الله يا رحمن افتح لنا أبواب رحمتك افتح لنا أبواب نعمتك رحمتك يا رحم الرحيمين ويا رب العالمين يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم يا عزيز يا لطيف يا وهاب يا كريم يا كريم يا كريم يا ودود يا جل جلال والإكرام سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين إبراهيم thank you for those prayers uh, since we haven't started this program on time we are quite running late on time and I don't know if there is any representative of the Christian community who would want to lead us in prayer if not um, those who are of the Christian denomination if you can say your prayers silently uh, they will be answered inshallah um, the next item on our agenda is uh, the national anthem of the Gambia and the uh, DJ uh, has it on record DJ can you play the national anthem and all delegates and uh, members of the executive committee are kindly asked to stand for the national assembly of the uh, national anthem of the Gambia Thank you very much. Thank you very much, distinguished delegates of Congress 2022. Um, before starting the proceedings today, uh, we want to beg your indulgence to, for the first time here, the externally audited accounts of UDP since Congress uh, 2020. Uh, the external auditors have been here since in the morning, and this is the end of the year. They have very busy schedules, and they could not uh, stay any longer than up to now. So with your indulgence, Secretary General and National President, I invite uh, foresight uh, auditing practice to come and uh, deliver the externally audited financial reports of the United Democratic Party. Mr. Bakari Sanyang is the lead practitioner of the practice, and he will uh, provide the uh, detailed figures of how UDP money was spent over the last two years. Sanan, you are welcome to the microphone. Uh, Bari Oro, uh, Nyata Bari Kul, uh, Dunda Nyokono, uh, signing, uh, Najumo Sale Nata, Puka Congresso Dayele. Bari, follow, follow, maybe. La moja wale mo na auditori miye kundi boroke yuli pila de paso ni sani flor mintamida aika ba e ba kari sanya niki ngo le mbari ngaji kusona la kuto ko kundi boroko aya kala muda de ba ge andu abenu jam grinselo ati mu ati sino la kudenge po aye wuri poto present so ba kari sanya 
le commandé là, il y en a une contiboro et ça y est, ça y est. Si vous avez le secret, vous voyez, c'est des auditeurs. Mr. Bakari Sanyan. Jana jani orito bina me move tempo la me move jaila ila patients kama andun ila baturo bana meta sakona luntang bunyari on patili da e aterol anaka nteol ani yudi pika nteol ai miru bunyato kumandi ai bejang kabring talanse nte la resi se kumandi ka fonya ba nte kula na na nde eto kro. A punya, a water bagi, mal betul tu la, mal jadi la, mulu benda nan diaspora, karena kau Kongres 2022 tu, Kongres wajib wajib bagi la, muka arrange mensur bagi la, baru bi main nata jenne, kasi ka UDP la kuat kaca, jangan boleh ngamir agamian urbe alon ni ko. Historical town lemu, ala chosa no warta, gambia linjama le karanta jam, gambia linjama le fanang bota jam muni alongo e barakata, bari ningridio no famo, CRR, wale munto fanang na makati nikuumu, paski ningridio no na pasi lila bota ningridio no leto, makati island division ika kumani nuno la. Bari saing atomu Central River Region leti na banko la President Fulo fanang awulu tajane abota jane ni regiono alaya barakani baakele so unkontanta baake puru na Congress 2022 abakela jang na tulbe bunya to kumani na bedua la fanang ni Congress o na kumase Bismillah Rabbil Alamin la na kumfa Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Adula bekerja hari ini dorman kontrol follow delegasi dorman follow dan follow ada eksekutif model dorman follow dan follow. Bari mening auditorium patung kandrong nana kandrong bengoy dari kuge. Bari kami rap. Mungkin orang dah dipukul orang pelukai, mungkin ini dia mungkin orang mungkin nak nak try dalam orang perempuan nak tanya masuk tu, berorit juga tentang perayaan. So, macam ni ni Sivil Administrative Secretary ni National Treasurer, dia bawa kontak ni le, dia dah bawa phone perayaan, otherwise macam ni ni sokong orang. Tapi aku kau tak kira orang. Ni ada pol yang yang minu punya atau kumandi, ada di MC Cham Benjele, Mombe ada di MC Cham Lonne, ada Minister Yakele, andung ada pada mu UDP Kamaraji, ngalone Dr Sirat Jo Fana Benjele, anala bolu, ngalone Mama ada le Aji Subai Naka, bolu lupa pola pola abenah le parti na Fana Benjele. Alfa Jamal Bejane, important dan bela jamfar, bela jamfar yang mondo. Min program mondo sedro, makanya dari bobo bejang, kita punya reputema. Ladies and gentlemen of Congress, today we are in a historic city, the city of Jamjamure. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure on behalf of the National Executive Committee to call on the National President of the United Democratic Party to offer her words of welcome to our guest of honor and our special guest and to all Congress delegation. The National President, Ajaya Mudauti Yabo, Madam, you have the floor. Thank <laughs> you. 
National President, Ajala to Yamuna Uje Yabo, Kadu Yafetna, Waki Gatana, Waki Amnamana, Nula Yajapal, Dila Dalati, Janja Boreoi. Me Odito Patunga and Hanibi, Barijani Ovekela, Financi Kumandi Fodrum. Kafuko Congress 2022, our uh, importance of allowing for 2023 national local government election the only slogan. So Kachal will be Kalajan, Ferrol will be Langilajan, Wolem Ukuka, UDP Makoy, the 2023 election of the Akanje. Bari Wato Tata and the monitor on our follow. So Nayatara see na Secretary General and in the party leader, lawyer Alaji Use Lumukuda Dabo, Nsa Kumande Afanaena Kalundango Jia, Kalundango Welcome, a full Congress of Yeta and Tatala Nyame. Uh, distinguished delegates, special invited guests, our colleagues from the other political parties here present. I can see the National Youth President of uh, and uh, members of all the other political parties that have been uh, gracious enough to come to this uh, welcome and opening ceremony of Congress 2022. And Honorable Maudo from the MPP is also present at the Congress. Uh, we welcome all special guests, all dignitaries to the Congress of the United Democratic Party held here in Janjambure today. The statement of the Secretary General, uh, with your indulgence, will now be made as we wait for the auditor, uh, the external auditor of the party. Your Excellency, with great uh, pride and great pleasure, I welcome you to the dais to give your statement to Congress. Badimolu, party leader, Secretary General, United Democratic Party, Atelebinala Kumo Fola, and Lumbe Mobe Danila, Nalamui, Paski, Ala Diamo Mansia, Bariwato Wata Diamoke, Aka Gambiano Bele Karandi, Aka Najamono Bele Karandi, Molomi Nulenanyan. Secretary General Party Leader Moy Kumase Garal Kadu, the Monsayu Mohe, the Bajangal Jamanoji, the Bajangal Wariumi, the Regent Party Leader. Thank you very much, Mr. Moreno, for our own quarter, the Javish Life. The national president of the United Democratic Party, Ayaya Munawiyabo, Deputy Party Leader and Deputy Secretary General, Adyaratu Adyam Seta, the national president of the female wing of the United Democratic Party, 
Raja Sukarnaka, the national presidents of the male and female youth wings of the party, Jim Bissise and Honorable Sao, distinguished delegates, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum to all present here on this auspicious occasion. Similarly, I extend greetings and salutations to members of the United Democratic Party, not present here in person, but joining us in spirit, spread across the entire length and breadth of the country, as well as our direct members and supporters across the world, whose commitment to the United Democratic Party exhibit for the country, for this special country we all call our home. I want to begin by extending our profound gratitude to our host, the hospitable and wonderful people of Jan Yamuri, beginning with the elders, the Akal or the all the way down to the youth. I want to especially thank both the national and the local organizing committees for the tremendous effort in preparing this important event in the calendar of our party. A lot of work goes into planning and effectively executing a national congress for a party as big and diverse as the UDP. This ranges from arranging the logistics of identifying and transporting delegates, housing, feeding, and sequencing events in a proper and orderly fashion. While the product of the endeavor may look great and seamless, I am certain it takes a lot of time, resources, and sweat. Therefore, I thank all involved, from our members, donors, planners, cooks, drivers, entertainers, and more importantly, you, the, the delegates, who are tasked with important responsibility of setting the course of the party in the immediate future. Before proceeding to outline our business at hand, I want all of us present here to take a minute to remember in silent prayer our compatriot with whom we started this party and the sacred journey it is committed to and who are no longer with us. We pray for Allah to grant them mercy and for those of us they leave their flag behind to continue on the righteous path of serving the Gambia and its diverse people towards the common road. I also want to acknowledge at this point acknowledge the presence of uh, sister political parties. I acknowledge the presence of MC Chan, the youth leader of the uh, Zambia Democratic Party. I also acknowledge the presence of Honorable Aladi Sow, former National Assembly member for Gimara, also representing GDC. I want to appreciate also, acknowledge also the presence of Mauro Tamara, whom I presume is here representing the NPP. I want also to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Kadumbula, a friend of ours who comes from East Africa and is not here on this occasion. I say thank you very much for gracing this occasion. The list may look light, long, but it is necessary to acknowledge certain personalities. Amongst them is my brother, Mr. Dudu former ambassador of the Gambia to France. I also want to acknowledge the presence of our local dignitaries in the process of Dabo Jaite, one of our leaders in Niani. Also, Kaka Kamara, who has been a founding member of this party and who has done a lot to carry this party to where it is today. We acknowledge your presence and also acknowledge your efforts. We acknowledge the presence of everyone here, particularly of our sister political parties who have not been able to identify. And uh, also to acknowledge is the presence of Honorable Omar Jalo, Omar Jame, 
the National Assembly members of Janjambure. We are grateful that you are amongst our hosts and you grace this occasion and your presence speaks value of how political parties and politicians can interact on occasions of this nature. I appreciate your presence here. We are here in this August gathering to affirm our commitment to Article 9.4 of our Constitution that requires our party to hold biennial conferences as well as to uphold the deep-seated tradition of internal democracy that lies at the very heart of our party. The leadership that was elected at the last Congress we will bring a full account of their tenure to you, the esteemed assembly, the, the esteemed assembly that is, and by extension, the constituencies you represent. Pursuant to the submission and your subsequent consideration thereof, table and discussion of resolutions and other matters, the entire leadership will resign their respective positions, and you, the delegates, will then move on to the important task of electing the new leadership of the party with a mandate to steer the affairs of the party for the duration of their mandate. I am confident that the leadership, the leaders that you will elect, will measure up the your carefully considered opinion regarding their competence, integrity, and commitment to the deep-rooted values of the United Democratic Party. Values that, inter alia, emphasize honesty and dedication to country. Those who dedicate themselves to serving UDP do so for no compensation or expectation of public adulation. On the contrary, the history of our party is one built on sacrifice, selflessness, and an abiding faith that our nation and its people deserve and its people deserve a government that puts them and their priorities ahead of the accepting of their government who elected them. Those who represent the party in any capacity, from leaders, this Congress leader, to our elected councillors, chairmen, mayors across the country, and our patriotic National Assembly members, to the individual and integrated, all represent our shared values. In validates a mantra I have said before, and that is UDP is more than a conventional political party. It is an idea in the minds and hearts of the people and in the official name of the people. Nothing, nothing fills me with pride and gratitude. They are saying that honorable and exemplary leadership UDP demonstrates wherever they serve the Gambian people. Without exception, UDP elected mayors, local government council chairmen are running the council they control effectively transparently and successfully. They have all increased revenues, deliver services, and embark on very ambitious long-term plans that, as demonstrated, that, that is demonstrated to all Gambia, the respective party affiliation, that UDP knows how to get things done. In recognition of the incredible job they are doing, I would like to ask all our councillors, chairmen and NAMs in attendance, to please stand up so that they can publicly show them our appreciation and encourage them to keep on the path of good and honest leadership all Gambia's are witnesses in their work. So I'm all counselors and all mayors and I'm not saying anything, but please stand up so that we as part of our class. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for serving the Gambia. And thank you very much for keeping the flag of the United Democratic Party flying high. I also want to thank the entire UDP National Assembly Caucus for their tenacious defense of the Gambian people in Parliament. They have reset free school position in rejecting the annual budget that proposes to spend 35 billion dollars, three quarters of which excludes 75 percent of the Gambian population to whom these resources belong. It's commendable and every serious Gambian appreciates it. It is an obscene, self-serving project that traps our nation in unplayable debts and deficits, undermines the economy by increasing inflation, contributes to increases in prices of basic commodities, and creates no jobs 
as well as neglecting the key areas of health, agriculture, and education. <coughs> All 16 members of our caucus voted against the budget. And I'm pleased to inform the people of Gianni Amore that our, our parliamentarians were joined by Honorable Omar Jame, Namco by Gianni Amore, with three other non-UDP members to oppose this bad budget proposal for the Gambian people. The early adoption of the budget demonstrates commitment to country and its people. This is at the heart of what UDP stands for and will always stand for. In the run-up to December 2021 presidential election and the April 2022 parliamentary election, UDP prepared its five points agenda and manifesto outlining the UDP government development objectives that ensures access to services for the majority of Gambians. In addition to this, these two forward-looking documents, I have commissioned the preparation of another vision document titled UDP Working Paper Series, Building a New Gambia, which ties the, points, the five points agenda and manifesto together in the light of the newest global development trends and thinking. This working paper clearly articulates the kind of country the UDP wants to build for the Gambia. The three documents clearly lay out the UDP short, medium and long term visions of how it wants to develop the Gambia from a least developed country to a middle income country and eventually to a small developed country. These policies will be further deliberated on during this conference. Distinguished delegates and my compatriots, I am at this conference this Congress with a heart full of grief. Because for the first time in the history of the Gambia, this country is without a validated development plan. It is almost one year since the President was sworn in to serve a second term. And instead of attending to the serious affairs of the nation, this company, this government is busy on trivialities and matters that set back the progress of development. This Congress will focus on what matters to the, to the people of the Gambia and will chart out a better future for the Gambia. With this few remarks, I declare our 2022 Congress official open. May we begin and conclude in the best of manner and I thank all of you for your kind attention. Uh, uh, may Mobile Control now, Kakumas and the National President, Ajaya Mudayabo, Deputy National Deputy Party Leader, Ajas Yamseka, National Women's President, Ajas Penaka, Fondi Kemusolu, and the Fondi Keulu, Nanyatan Kolu, Makata GBC, and the Honorable Sleman Sauti, and in Nutan Bunyan and Bad Mebev Janto, Bad Bear Control now, and after Mobile Mela Kapo. Alla banco ya le tele tombong pour aller na si yanto pour ta pati wala ko kaja na be konto wo ko ko la ben na konto do dila na pati dingla ani ga be ko mela no ko bi e man traferi kerim fe yanto bare do ba e ben du be kan abi hatlo be bi yanto na konta ni ma be fana ji na ga be din kendo lu mel ya no ka fo ko wala be gambe bantala if you have a support, you can support the support of 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 the Walter Lambal Jaila, Alien Dia Kung, Alien Landi Kung, Alien Domol Kung, Alien Dio Dinangam Kung, Allah Baraka. Mari, Janja Mure, Tua Mambo Felfenda, Fondo Tambunya, Oto Mel Manjalo, Menkata Janto, Ayol Le Terren, Para Mantel Le Terren. So, na Organizing Committee Fanang, Betel Le Mela Roka Kuwalebe Janto, Ani Mela Roka Kuwalebe Badion, 
ಒಲೆಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿ ಕಾಕೆ ನೀವು ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ನ ನಿಮ್ಮೇ ಜಂಬೆಸ್ತೇನ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಜಾಮೆ ಅಂತೇನು ಬಿಸಿ ರಿಮ್ಮೆ ಅಂತೇನು ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಓ ಫಮೋಟ್ ಸೋತೇನು ಕೇ ಜಾಯಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಸೀರಾಲ್ ದಿನ ಪಟ್ಟಿಯ ಕಲ್ವಕಮ್ಮ ಬೇ ಬೇತೇನು ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಡೋಲಿಯಲ್ಲ ಕೊಡೋಲಿಕೆ ಡೋಲಿ ಒಲ್ಲು ಒಲಿಯ ಡೋಲು ಒಲಿಯ ಸೆಂಬೋಲ್ ಲೆಕೆ ಮೋ ಮೋ ಎಮ್ಮೆಕೆ ಬೇ ಬೇತೇನು ಪಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲ ಕಾದು ಕೊನೆ ಫೆಂಕಿಲಿ ಮಂಕೆಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಕೊಣ ಕೋ ಮೆಂಬೆ ಕುಣ್ಣ ಜಾಂತು ಬಿ ಡೆಟಾರ್ ನೋಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೋ ಡೆಟಾರ್ ನೋಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಮೋ ಮೇಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಫ್ಟ ಮೋ ಬೇಸಾರ ನೋ ಕಾಫ ಕೋ ಈ ಜೋ ಕೋ ಮೇಕೆ ನಟೆ ಜೋ ಕೋ ಕೆಂದೆ ನೋ ಮೋ ಅದು ಪಟ್ಟಿಯ ಬಾಕಲ ಮಾಡಿ ಜಾನಿನ ಫಲೋ ಅಕುರು ಮ್ಯಾಂದ ಮೇ ಕಚಾಲ ಬಿ ಲಫ್ಟಲೆ ಸಿ ಹಕ್ಲೋ ಬುಲಂದಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಜೋ ಹಕ್ಲೋ ಬುಲ ಹಂದಿ ಮಾನ್ ಬುಕು ಬುಕು ಜೋಯ್ ನಾ ಹಕ್ಲೋ ಬುಲ ಮೋಲ್ಲ ನಿಮೆ ಲಾಕ್ ಕೋ ನೋ ಲೆಂಗಿ ಪಟ್ಟಿಯ ಕುಮಾ ಸೆ ನೋಲ್ 1996 ಮೋಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅನು ಕಾಫಕ್ಕೆ ಏ ಬೂಟೇಲೆ ಕೋಯ್ ಫಾದ ಮೋಲ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅನು ಕಾಫಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಉಡಾಯಿತ ಅಲ್ಲಿನ ಕನ್ನಿನ ಓ ಮೋಲ್ ಯ ವಾಟೋ ವಾಟಿ ನಿಂಬೆಂತ ಅದು ನಾಡಿ ಕಾಫಕ್ಕೆ ಗಂಬೆ ಜಿಂಗಾನೋ ಗಂಬೆ ದಿಕ್ಕೆನೆ ನೀ ಸೀಟ ಬೆಂತ ದಾವದ ಇನ್ಯಾಂತಲೆ ಏ ಮೀರ ಓ ಮೋಲ್ ಕಾಫಕ್ಕೆ ಪಿ ಗಂಬೆ ಅದೆ ಹಾಲೋ ಮೇಟೊ ಇಲ್ಲ ಕಟೋ ಇಲ್ಲ ಪಾಟ ಕೊಲೆಯೋ ಸಾಬ so lafta nyamolo sikana nyamolo kana nyene kana nyene eh ukon tanka ko mol futata ma bi mol bem fe janto bi me nyano ka fe bata pati ko te wanleto ina ka ka fu ma janto na belni ka ka lan ke yandi ka ni nyandi surwal ka me fo eh jo jo sin da ye bi ka bo xamne musa am e to janto nyabe ji di si la fondi to na nyato ko la Honorable MC Chan, Gambia Bela Yano, Honorable Alain Sow, and I'm going to give you the name of the Bank of Kham, Abem Fee Jando. My camera, I'm going to give you the name of the Bank of Kham, and I'm going to give you the name of the Bank of Kham, for the NPP. and the new modern mode we must do it anyway but i have no matter you know and i'm going to do it and i don't uh lutang do fanam be jando no ya no ka ko abata bantale e ka fo ay ko mr kadumbula fanam be fe jando fanam manel kana ka ma be na ni jando alfa fanal be parbara la jando me na ma be ni jando wa dol fanalu si fanal to fo to fo man dia but at least mo mo la bunya ni sa dia la ta ta ko ram dia man ne ay pata me ka yu di pi a be janto a man ke dia ko dam man di bala be jan ne ka ko ko a fana mo pati wa fa le di a ta be fe janto da mo jay te fanal be janto a do ro ba na do ro ba fana di da ko no ma la fa da do do be di janto le wa do ya 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 mo nya mo lu mo ma ya ka ko ina ta ifa ta ma janto pro na bayne ka ka la ke ka ka la ke ya ni ani amal onre bu amal ya to jamme na ko na sebli memba ko ta janto eh ni age ta ta janto bi mo fon la loi ina de democratic party la constitution ama ka gambia la loi de ta mo nya mi la ko Gambia la loi wala ya foko sandi flow sandi fula patio ni ata congress kala ya pat gambia la loi mo gambia la loi me fono patio pati isake la mo la loi de la constitution me be marala ka ko de sandi flow sandi fula e be congress kala so te lo ke na patio na congress na constitution la kabri 1996 ni masa kunda be ni masa kunda be moni ke ta ya tan tel le bulo Kabri 1996 yo de nuevo que la constitución. Yo artículo 
article 94 wala ñu wala Sandy Flow, Sandy Flow, you did you call Nanta Benale, but you are a Taman de Nyani, Fana Bela, Yaju Be, Odalilo, Oleatina, Medianto. Adon Fanandu, Nadia Vaket of Fana, Lata Democracy La, Cavaco, Dem Fem, Dem Nini Moda, the Fem Fenna, Al Cafolin, Al Cafolin, Manuel Coleco, Dem Femunia Folletti. So you bell mu. Nyafoleti, <laughs> Farmer Kunda, Farmer Marakun, Nataman Yame, Fabetia, Farmer Betia, Minari Porto Dilare, Nadia Bolo and Bolo Nawoto, Bala Patio in Martanya or Tama Maranyama, Amasan for the Mary Porto Dilare, and Bala Nawoto Fanda Patio, Farmer Tanya Mona Maranyame. I love for them Bolo Nagala, or it of an Nebinana for the satisfier, Fala Kuroni, Nabataria Mutalevan, Podolka. More than I would have got the other day. Four and four. Ninam Bandi in Bella near the Port of Bella. Send the Yalokas of Alla <laughs> One man out of the daddy cost. And one man for the commitment, he left the patio. One man, one Mayaka UDP, Lord Awaka, Majube, Kavako, Bermuda of Lajeto, Nada Kavako, Bermuda of Lajeto, Wala Bujeto, Tenu, UDP, the Tarnate, Kavila Femena, Walong, Kamasa Kundadi, Gambian Kola, Masakuna Mayano Kavako, Ila Ayo, Pankudilla Ayo, if a Lord Awala, Masmata, Manafi, Masakuna Mayako, if one Kunkilla Ayo drunk, he bore a long. About Gambia <laughs> UDP 
Bagian nanti, saya akan tahu ko, gambian ko lu, ila jauh ya, ila gambian ko la jauh ya, you are the first attempt. Jadi kita le presiden le nasional, Desember, Serum. Ani nasional assembly election, na na polisi kaitu bondi, memu five point agenda dia. Bo five point agenda, wali nama festo, mana di gambian ko la. Tak aku nadi bangko dina, bangko ni baca mudanya ni, bangko ni bayar wan lanya ni. Amam ni, na ngamol bulan dua puluh ada, pulka fender dah, pulka ni lanya dota, bo. Nungota, kau kau ni kau yang 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 kau tak fulon mah, mana kau kau, kau nak kau gambar la buku di, kau kau, kau nak kau gambar la kamera silau di, kau nak kau jadi pun nak kau boleh lanya ni, ah 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 ah, kau tu ni bermain dah kan, kau nak jadi pun working paper series, building a new Gambia, kau nak Gambia kuto, kau boleh kau no, kau ni kau 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 ni new build ni series ni. Oleh the five point agenda, ada yang manifesto ibu yang jomoi bakal. Ba yang kait dulu, ibu yang tadi nak niaw nak jero, kagambia bondi, fukar bangko, kagambia bangko fukar dia tu. Kasamba levuloto, meja lom kaboko, kaboko afisaya tadi. Dengan nama sama levuloto, meja lom kaboko, bangkunding, meja lom kaboko dunia dunia botafi. Nil lata pola jopu. Nih Kongres tu, dapat bawa pol kacanya, kaju be, nyata pol nyata pol dan nanya mil. Atau lembah ni mana, jadi tu kau nak makan ni amok atau mana? Saya ni memang ni ni aku ya, nak berdua kono. Saya ni memang suruh ni nak berdua kono. Fena na mamparofa dambi ya mkodi ya. Fo, nina. Na menge, wano nye mbanko, deka wame kwa national development plan. Na ya lamka fya valide, mbanko maso. Ali lima national development plan sato. Ila mbanko la dobo ni kapuka ke nwanya. National development plan yu sata, 2017, 2017, 2018. Bari mando nanti, saya nak kau kalau bayi tanda, Gambia masa pun nanti, bangko ni apa zaman la jamai, zaman mal kai la jamai, berjaga la jamai, zaman la jamai kita mesti la jamai. Di masa pun la, instead of yang ni ada dua la, yang ni ada dua kuku tam la, kuku tam drop, yang ni ada dua la, kau ni nak kau kalau bangko sama la jamai, UDP. Lafta jela, ko ni apa bang ko kau? Adun daman tam, daman tam mana masa kuda bodi? Waktu na bang ko lanya, bang ko la koma. B, kon niung niung conference wa ada mana waktu wajib? Nanti kau ko ada mula itu mana? Nalam kau ko di silo dua lana, silo meja nalam kau ko. Gambia betah mana kan? Selalu melayan kau foko. Mana yang terang? Dia dia boleh lale. Gambia betah mana? Tukar kau tukar mana? Baca 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 baca. 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 Baca baca Limbuah nak cikatel makaralko refer dulu na terok terok si tewa ibu neka di si digital refer dulu bi kini fayi juga cianen political party bi ni melinyom ma MC Cham dah ubu juga GDC refer dulu na tamit ne wa MPP yoni neng fidau constituency national assembly member bi Mr. Jame, Honorable Jame, Mungi Teofi, Bokanachi Gani. 
Reverend Luneta Mitja ne UDP Elders Kafo ak ñom Batata Kamara ak yeneen kelifa yi amna gan bu joge fok na be Zambia momit ñew na bokk ci congress bi a ci gatal Reverend Luna Tewaay ñu fi nek yeb e di sas wa congress ne ligue mo ñu fi ici a waxtanam bi gëna am solo mu ngi wara ñew ci kanam tuuti a mu ne congress de de ñew pour nata lan la ligue yi parti exécutif bi def mom secrétaire général ak parti leader député am ak national president bi seen ligue di gënte congress ak congress naka la mel lan lañ ci xamé naka lañ dépassé dépassé parti bi loolu tax congress di ñew ba pare bu ko nayigal mbolo mi tamit ne di am congress ñaari at yu nekk loolu dafa samp ba ci UDP parce que section 9 ci suñu constitution ni parti bi fa lañ tenke loolu ne ñaari at yu nekk parti bi dina am congress bi pour tan ñi ci parti bi pour ñew doxal affaire parti bi so li du nekk ne lo xamne la loi mo moko tek ci kaw UDP loi dafa ñew fekk UDP nekk ci loolu refer lu na tamit liggey yi suñ maire si ak councilor si ak chairman yi laaj na mboro mi fi tok yeb pour ñu jox taxaw taatul maire of banjul maire of kmc chairman of urr chairman of west coast et chairman of northbank region chairman of lrr parti bi na bi ñaan na congress bi pour ñu xamé len tamit pour ñu taxaw nit ñi xamné ñi ñoy councilor UDP ñi ñoy maire UDP waye fok na né jaru ko sax parce que ñepp gambia fu mu nek xamné né UDP ñu amé gouvernement yu daw ni so ñu ngi rafet lu bu baaxa ba ñom maire Roy Malik Lo ñom maire Tari Ben Soula chairman Landing Sané chairman Fodé Danjo chairman Mola Bin Bojan North Bank ak suñu councilor ci yépp a parti leader bi won na ne ñu ñu seen liggey gambie fo na gambie ci bis nañ ko a te ñu ngi jubal ci benen local government election mu ngi na ñaan di ñaan wa gambie pour ñu delo len ci benen mandat ñu mëna taxawal réew mi mëna doxal seen bokko haani yo bu suñu réew ci kanam a parti leader bi tam waxna mu ne sandon na ay ndaw liggey pour ñu gëna dégueral liñ ni taxawa ci suñ manifesto bi ak suñ 5 point agenda bi mu ngi taxawal gestu way bu es bu ñoo oyé UDP working paper series mu ne ñetti kay ci so len bolé de ñoo dimbalé gambe pour su xaliko pour yow bu suñ réew mi ci kanam ndax xalaat yu maccé ñoo ci nekka ndax gis gis yu baax ñoo ci nekka pour yow bu suñ réew mi ci kanam mu ne nak liko gëna me ci liko gëna naxari moy ne ci histoire gambia ñu ngi doore ñew ci jamono bo xamne amuñ kay ci yo xamne ñu ko tenk tek ko pour naka la dikk bi di doore ci kanam di ñu wax development plan mu ne gambia histoire ak li mo yaga yeb ak li mo gata yeb at mi rek at bi passé lañ amut development plan loolu nak lu nek lo xamne la lu ko naari la ba pare bu ko na congress bi ci ñoo waxtaan fi ñuy gestu jema waxtaan naka la ñoo yobo ci réew ci kanam ndax réew mom liggey rek lay moko mëna yobo ci kanam ci gatal rek ma emalé fofu waxi secrétaire général amna waxtaan bi dina gëna yaatu dina gëna ici ay halat yu rafet pour ñu gën ce jangé mëna yobo ci réew ci kanam mëna yow ka na tango réew mi jëne jëne jëf Uh, so ñu xari ci joggé ci uh, parti DDC ñu né ñu fi suba ba légui té ñu ngi am yeneen programme ci ñu wara uh, topato combo so dañ bu mo na ñaan rek uh, tago délu combo su parti lida nopalé wa xambi so ñu ngi léna bayyi pour ñu dem uh, ci teranga ñu jajjeufal leen jëré jëfal leen ñaanal leen yoni jaama amna ci taay yi rek jëré jëfal jëf way jëré mboro
Mr. Bakari Sanyang is the lead practitioner at uh, Foresight uh, uh, Financial Services. <laughs> so, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Amametal. Uh, I know Tab is going to start for this customer and also to observe the protocol. Uh, I would like to express my thanks to the uh, certificate and party leader, Honorable A.N.M. Usain Odaro. I would also like to thank uh, the Deputy Party Secretary General, Anti Aji Mariam B. Seka. And also, I want to thank my own auntie, Aji Anti Yamondaro J. Yabo. I also want to thank the mayors of Banjul, Rohi Maliklo, and also my own Lord Mayor, Kalibi Municipal Council, Talib Ahmed Bensura. Mr. Bensura, I must tell you I have an agreement with Mr. Sane. He asked me to send him his invoice. I said I'll wait for my council rate and business rate. I'm going to pay my council rate and business rate for this invoice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good afternoon, uh, members of the executive, uh, executive members, party members present here in the National Assembly members, especially my National Assembly member for KRS. Honorable Lamin Sisse. <laughs> Mr. Tar, with all other protocol observed, please allow me to read my audit report. And it goes. The independent auditors report to the members of the United Democratic Party. I'll start with the audit opinion. We have audited the financial statements of the United Democratic Party which comprise the financial position as a 31st December 2021 and the income and expenditure statement and the statement of cash flows for the year ended 31st December 2021 and the notes to the financial statement including summary of significant accounting policies. In our opinion, the party's financial statements give a true and fair view of its financial position performance and its cash flow for the year ended and was prepared in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles in bracket gap and the requirements of the party's constitution. How do we arrive at this opinion? The basis of our opinion. We conducted our audit in accordance with international standards for auditing in bracket ISIS. Our responsibility under those standards are further described in the auditor's responsibilities for the auditor financial statement section of our report. We are independent of the party in accordance with the International Ethics Standards Board for Accountants Code of Ethics for Professional Accountants in bracket IESDA code. Together with the ethical requirements that are relevant to our audit of financial statements in the Gambia, and we have fulfilled our other ethical responsibilities in accordance with this requirement and the ISTB code. We believe that the audit evidence we obtain is sufficient and appropriate to provide a basis for opinion. So Mr. Sisi, you will realize this morning, when you invited me to stay with you out there, I said no. I have to maintain my ethical independence. All that information. 
Management is responsible for order information. The order information comprises the general information and report of the directors. The order information does not include the financial statement and our auditors report thereon. Our opinion on the financial statement does not cover order information and we do not and will not express any form of assurance conclusion thereon. In connection with our audit of the financial statements, our responsibility is to read the order information and in doing so, consider whether the order information is materially inconsistent with the financial statements or our knowledge obtained in the audit or otherwise appears to be materially misstated. If, based on the work we have performed, we concluded that there is a material misstatement of this order information, we are required to report on that fact. We have nothing to report in regards to inconsistency between our financial statement and the order information. Responsibilities of management and those tied with governance of the financial statements. Management is responsible for the preparation and fair presentation of the financial statements in accordance with the GAAP and for such internal controls as management determines is necessary to enable the preparation of financial statements that are free from material misstatement, whether due to fraud or error. In preparing the financial statements, management is responsible for assessing the party's ability to continue as a going concern, disclosing as applicable matters related to going concern and using the going concern basis of accounting unless management intends to liquidate the party or to cease operations or has no realistic alternative but to do so. Those charged with governance are responsible for overseeing the final, party's financial reporting process. Our responsibility as auditors. Our objective are to obtain reasonable assurance about whether the financial statement as a whole are free from material misstatement, whether due to fraud or error, and to issue an auditor's report that includes our opinion. Okay. Reasonable assurance is a high level of assurance, but it's not a guarantee that an audit conducted in accordance with ISAS will always detect a material misstatement when it exists. Misstatements can arise from fraud or error and are considered material if, individually or in aggregate, they could reasonably be expected to influence the economic decision of users taken on the basis of these financial statements. As part of an audit in accordance with ISIS, we exercise professional judgment and maintain professional skepticism throughout the audit. In addition, we also identify and assess the risks of material misstatement of the financial statement, whether due to fraud or error, design and, uh, and perform audit procedures responsive to those risks, and obtain audit evidence that is sufficient and appropriate to provide a basis for our opinion. The risk of not detecting a material misstatement resulting from fraud is higher than for one resulting from error, as fraud may involve collusion, forgery, intentional omission, misrepresentation, or the override of internal control. We also obtain an understanding of internal control relevant to the audit in order to design audit procedures that are appropriate in the circumstances, but not for the purpose of expressing opinion on the effectiveness of the party's internal control. We evaluated the appropriateness of accounting policies used and the reasonableness of accounting estimates and related disclosures made by management. We concluded on the appropriateness of management use of going concern basis of accounting and based on the audit evidence obtained, whether a material uncertainty exists related to events or conditions that may cast significant doubt on the party's ability to continue as a going concern. If we conclude that a material uncertainty exists, we are required to draw attention in our auditor's report to related disclosure in the financial statement. 
But if such disclosures are inadequate to modify our opinion, we had no cause to modify our opinion in the course of the financial statement being proceeded, presented here. Our conclusions are based on the audit evidence obtained up to the date of our audit report. However, future events or conditions may cause the party to cease to continue as a going concern. We evaluated the overall presentation, structure and content of the financial statement, including the disclosures, and whether the financial statement represent the underlying transactions and events in a manner that achieve fair presentation. Independent audit report continues. We communicated with those charged with governance regarding, among other matters, the plan scope and timing of the audit and significant audit findings, including any significant deficiencies in internal control that we identified during the audit. And we do communicate that through our management letter, which is provided to the Treasurer in terms of our observations related to internal control weaknesses. The engagement partner on the audit resulting in this independent auditor's report is Bakari Sanya, signed Foresight, Chartered Certified and Management Accountant, Registered Auditors, 50 Gaba Jaumpa Road, Bakao. I thank you all for your attention and congratulations, and wish you all a successful deliberation and a congress. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Sanyan, for that very comprehensive and a clean bill of financial health. Kakubo Sutian Nidrong, Kontiboro, I am Mufo Jan, Apo Ito Niva Kontiboro Kela, Follow Follow, Imanya Nakela Pati Bimoti, Imanya Nakela Kela, Political Party La Kulto, Mokati Mele, Ibe. Come on, come on, for that.
an update to the party members who have police of the party and select party officials. The 2020 Congress was held in fulfillment of this requirement and quite early at a time of tremendous transformation for the party. The report continued. I will try to summarize as much as I can. That in 2020, 2020 Congress was well attended as usual. 20 delegates selected from each constituency and other party officials attended as well. Elections to the National Executive were held in Carlos Reprison with sub-unit selection being made. For the first time in the history of the politics, a woman was selected as the National President of the Party in the person of Ayala Yamuda Yawa. The media and other political party CEOs Independent of Zawas, IEC, and key national and international stakeholders also attended. The Congress was held over three days. All speeches and deliberations were transmitted in the main local languages. Sign, the sign language interpretation was also done for all the speeches. We thank the Secretariat. In the passage of Mr. Tembo, under the chair, Ms. Rami Jame, Amlai Ture, Dr. Mongo Riyapa, Ms. Bilek Boyan, and Bakali Jame for the wonderful work that they have done. The day one of the Congress was 18 December 2020. This was moderated by Mr. Almame Fandim Tal, just like what happened uh, before, exactly. He followed the same term of the moderation. The opening ceremony, he continued to moderate the opening ceremony. On December 18, 2020, Mr. Mahmoud Fandinta, Paris Cook Party, was the moderator for the Congress. He started by expressing his apology to the seated invited guests for the Congress restart. It was good as some, del some delegates made arrival. He acknowledged the presence of the invited guests and key among them. And a part of the party, Honorable Al Hadiyan Sita, Ms. Ami Ben Soda, Al Hadiyaya Sise, Excellency Sam Sadir, Dr. Scott Job, Al Hadi Ibumani, and Al Hadi Kemusin Jamir, respectives of sister political parties and to the data of the APRC, to the data of the APRC, Mr. M.C. Chan of the GDC, and representative from the Citizen Alliance, we are also in attendance. He saluted all their efforts in working of the party in establishing true democracy in the country and in the fight against tyranny that was endured over the 22 years of the Ayatollah rule. He ignored the absence of several key players who were with us in the 2018 Motorway, amongst who was the late Honorable Laminda Mundiva, may so rest in perfect peace, the party senior administrative secretary. The welcoming speech delivered by the Lord Mayor, Kai Ahmed Ben Suda, the Mayor of Kalifi Municipality. The Lord Mayor welcomed the party leader and his entire executive delegate and all invited guests of the the Canadian Municipal Council, he extended special greetings to his mother, Amit Rami Bensura, and the Democracy Youth Group of JMC. He expressed his happiness to the host United Democrat to hold the United Democratic Party Congress 2020. <laughs> Mayor Bensura assured the Congress that 2021 under the leadership of his Excellency Rahal Hussein Dabo, UDP is an introduced the government people to work them that has never been seen before in the history of the country. Furthermore, the United Democratic Party will showcase his brilliance, his power, and ambitious vision, and studies to work that for a new country. The statement by the party national president, then the acting national president, Yamunov J. Yabo, the acting national president started by extending her welcome remarks to the Secretary General and the Party Leader, Al-Hadi Hussein Dabo, 
and the deputy Panimuya Adam Mariam the Shaker, and the second national president Al Haji Muhammad Sani, and the entire republic members. Madam Jaya will note that the role is this role is to welcome the party delegates and integrity to the Congress so as to chart a way forward for the next two years. She thanked the party leader and the entire republic for a job well done during the past two years. She also thanked the Lord Mayor and the organizing committee for such a magnificent effort ever organized by the party. The speech by the Secretary General and Party Leader Al Hadi Hussein Dabo. The Dissensions Al Hadi Hussein Dabo, the Party Leader, welcome all the National Congress 2020. Acknowledge the presence of all invited guests and delegates, including the constituency delegates, the representatives of the political parties, UDP executive, party militants, his two wives, Al Hadi and Sitar who he noted as a mentor, the UDP national representatives, the party leader going further to thank the nursing committee members, and our host community, the Canada Municipal Council, and his, and his dynamic and terrible mayor, Tariq Al-Mudrikan Suda, and his entire team for, work, for welcoming and making the delegates from all corners of the country feel at home. The body has stated that seeing the enthusiasm and the vigor of the grassroots supporters both here and abroad as the party goes through this internal democracy process gives him tremendous hope in both the present and future of the UDP. The party leader asked for the indulgence of the Congress and requested delegates and invited guests to take a moment of a moment to remember and pray for his brother, confidence and colleague, Alaji Lamin Dambu, Iba Teshi Dabo, stated that he started the journey with him from day one. The party leader went for to affirm that the late Diva need to see that of his dream, a free Gambia. However, Mr. Diva is now more than ever happy, prepared to go for her to see a fulfilled realization of Mr. Mr. Diva's dream. The party leader affirmed his confidence and stated that he is looking forward to a fruitful and robust engagement with the colleagues and the members as they chart, as we chart the way forward collectively to prepare for what we should uh, definitely what we should the final election in 2021, he reminded the delegates that the country is at close to after provision started delivered by the great sacrifice and unwavering of the Gambian people. The country is now stumbling. According to Mr. Dago, we have seen more over the last four years attempts to attempts to recollect re the the court and the constitution the appearing and the scheduled mayor of the depot's regime are creeping up. These are abuse of authority, corruption, wasted of scare, public resources, and sabotage of wider reform agenda. They remind the delegates that our country today is shadowed in the presidency and leadership team that, that does not prioritize the urgent and life sustaining needs of the citizen. A great example of serious misappropriation of public resources as follows. The very high salary of the president, which was 250,000 a month, that not being enough, the government allocates a 450,000 as daily food allowance for the office of the president. They observe that this is a serious misallocation of the resources that was not reflect attention to the urgent needs of the citizens. This stated that the government takes our limited resources to lie lavishly and fill the people with empty victory. In conclusion, he reminded all that this Congress will be saving the future of the Gambia and all going to dedicate themselves to the true reform agenda that was selfishly and previously aborted by, by a president also will need the vital national interest to his personal obsession with the office he was elected to serve. The part two of the activity was the financial activity that was moderated by Madame Olitiba Wada. 
This was the the party activity report, the activity of financial report. The first part of that, the activity report of the party, was the one presented by the party leader, where the party leader outlined the different activities that under took under the year uh, uh, of the review. That is in line with the party's fight for internal democracy, the women's field, held their congress in February 2029, as well as the youth week also held their congress in March 29. On March 15, 2019, Honorable Ahmad Saleh, Honorable Lamy Giva, and Nechi Yusei Dabo were relieved from their cabinet post. Also in March 29, the UDB US Seattle chapter invited the party leader to a fundraising event. Was, this was highly successful. In addition to these rallies, the party also had rallies in Bundu, uh, Burkhut, Basi, and Jarasoma. In March and April 2019, the party decided to expel eight, eight delinquent members of the National Assembly, two councillors from West Coast Media, and a chairman of the Kamal Area Council for activities that were not in line with the party for the conduct. In the same day, April 2019, the youth will organize the Victims March Pass and Solo Sunday Memorial. The Vegas Rally was held in the uh, Nani Dharma Portal CRR. And during the Ramadan 2019, the youth will also, in collaboration with some constituencies, organize daily ITAR food items that dispute distributed within the constituency to support the needy people. And Commissar, West Coast Region. October 22nd, successful welcome party was organized by the party leader and the Mr. Ibrahima Diva and Mr. J. Paul from the European Tour. In November 2019, the European party with that constitutional consultation of life by the Westminster Foundation and they made a recommendation and submitted their opinion in that constitution. The event continued in February 2022 and March 22 where the union has used them as part of their activities in Francis EU to seek their, ally, ally, to seek their alliance from NPT to the United Democratic Party in the Northern Union. In the same March 2020, the, the Secretary General of the, Nat of the National Youth League, Mr. Kimo Boda and female youth president from the Northern, Mr. Mende, traveled to China to attend the China program political university and participate in the China Africa political group program. The activities continued on August 30th, 2019, the government from 40 councillors paid a contribution to the national government at the end. November 7, 2020, 2020, the party participated in the by election in the Terdaga war and Yamina is national assembly seat. The party did not be in two elections. In 2020, the Ghana market, Kambel Kafo, adopted Mr. Ibrahim Adiba as their father, and the industrial ceremony was held at political rally in the Ghana. The financial report for the year ended, Tabo December 22, was presented by the national president, uh, Mr. Amadou Sano. According to the national president, the country's economy has stalled, no IMF program, a failed rainy season, and completely failed for the season. Furthermore, over the period of 2017 to 2019, when the UDP was part of the coalition government, the party's representatives served in various positions in the government. Ministries of Foreign Affairs, Lands and Regional Integration, Finance and Economic Affairs, and then the Vice President, Agricultural Trade, Industry, Industry, Industry and Employment and Regional Integration. Mr. Sarai reminded the Congress of the few achievements for the, for the Gambia while UDP members were in the government. One, bringing back the Gambia from the isolation into the country of nations, bringing back the IELTS program after years of disengagement and leading the preparation, preparation and marketing of the National Development Plan 2018 successful work on the Gambia Development Donors Conference in May 2018 and secured pledges of 1.7 billion US dollars. Negotiated the roadmap for the electricity modernization of the country, 
with our partners. Yes, we are the Chief founder when UDP was in the government, and he went for to give the financial report of the party. That for the year and the 4th December 20, 4th December 2019, a total of 3,202,624 was raised from personal contribution. 3,939,308 from racing and 5,603,736 and donation 698,506. The contribution figure of 3,909,332 comprising of 668,000 for the national assembly contribution 3,266,882 Contribution from the diaspora and 4,500 4, from executive members. The National Treasurer reported to the delegates that the significant absence from this income figure had a huge and valuable support to the party provided by individuals in hiring vehicles and funding the party activities at the national constituency and work levels. The campaign of organizing was the cost expenditure was also outlined by the National Tesla. National Tesla. In his closing statement, he thanked all their contribution, he thanked all, he thanked all for their contribution and wished all the fruitful Congress, Congress deliveries on 2020. The two was the contribution of part two of the one, that started in 19, uh, 19 December 2020. The session was moderated by Amadou Fani Tal. And the same day, two part three of the program, constitutional amendment, moderated by Al Hadi Estrabo. The moderator requested for the amendment of articles 11 of the constitution of the party and then paragraph 31 of the same article was also amended. The same amendment created new position, adversary sector social and congressing, deputy admin sector social and congressing, admin sector media and communication, deputy adversary sector media and communication. And the chairperson and mayors became automatic members of the party national executive. Then that one also, the amendment enabled the party leader to nominate extra four uh, nominated members in the national executive. This presentation was followed by discussion by the Congress delegates. Among the, the delegates who contributed the discussion, Nyana uh, Mawali from Woli East, Woli S. Ture also contributed, Rohi Malikilo contributed, Lami Chegami contributed, Again, Rohi Maliklo also came in, Lamin Jajo, Kemo Kinte, and Mr. Sane Chia, person of Belgium, Great Area Council. These were the delegates who take part in the discussion uh, following the presentation of the previous report. Rosa Wilson came in, and then Almane Fandintal moderated that event. Congress resolutions were passed. The resolution came from the youth meet. The party national youth president, Honorable Sleiman Sao, came up with a resolution for course on revitalizing the youth wing participation in the party. We read, youth wing will develop youth policy to be approved by the national executive. Youth wing will, will be motivated to serve the agency of the party and support the party leader, leader legacy. Youth wing to promote gender parity in its affiliated groups. To have youth aid bracket by 2022, to ensure that the youth, uh, the youth being with the part A is to be elected into the youth position. That the youth being urges the party to select the 2021 presidential flag year before the end of March 2021. This was the resolution that was passed by the UDP, ably by the National Youth President on the Chairman Shadow. The day two was the nomination of candidates uh, vying for the position in the National Executive. This was moderated by the members of the Ad Hoc Electoral Committee, chaired by Dr. Kiva Dabi.
in this program, the chairperson of the ad hoc committee, electoral committee, opening the nominations. The nominations were followed by election. Above all, all positions that were duly nominated went on approach. About 37 positions were duly nominated on approach at the same Congress. The next part was the introduction of the party leader, party leader elect by Auntie Maimuna Abdul. She started with she started with the biography of of, the, of her husband and her husband Dabo as her husband, father, grandfather and party leader. According to Madame Dabo, the party leader elect is a very simple, caring and compassionate person and loyal and professional in all dealings with the people. She gave the example that the drivers, drivers and house helpers have been with them for more, for more than two decades. And this is a testimony of his loyalty to all those he deals with. Madame Dago, for that statement, and Mr. Dago is elected as president. Gambia will greatly benefit from the generosity, hard work, moral attitude, and tolerance. The party leader acceptance speech. The party leader stated by expressing his appreciation to the Congress 2020 for the close revolves in him to continue as their party leader. According to the party leader, the election is about fundamental choices between 